Voters with disabilities may need assistance to cast their ballot at the polls. There are several options available to voters with disabilities. The scanner will detect an overvote or a blank ballot. However, it won't tell you if you failed to vote in every race. Once you finish voting, you'll take your voted ballot to the scanner judge and he will submit it for tabulation. Would you like assistance with casting your ballot today? I would appreciate that. Yeah, let's grab these guys right here. Can we please assist Mr. Washington with casting his ballot today? Certainly. Let's go someplace quiet so you can cast your ballot in secrecy. Let's do that. Thank you. An elector can request that the election judge assist with marking the ballot. Unless the voter asks for a single individual to assist the voter, there should always be two judges assisting. One judge should watch the ballot marking carefully to ensure that the voter's choices are accurately marked. In the second race, you can vote for no more than two. It is Best Vocal Artist, Frank Sinatra, Elvis, Patsy Cline, Janis Joplin, Buddy Holly, Barry White, Billie Holiday, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Mama Cass Elliot, or you can write in up to two. Um, let's do Elvis and Janis Joplin, please. Marking Elvis and Janis Joplin. If necessary, the election judge can assist the voter with feeding the ballot into the scanner. Can I give you an I voted sticker? Sure, put it right there. Thank you. Thank you. A voter who cannot enter the polling place can be assisted through curbside voting. Good morning. Good morning. My wife, Martha Washington, can't get out of the car. Is it possible for her to vote today? Is she a registered voter? She is. We can help her with that. We have curbside voting. Thank you. We're going to be doing a curbside voting for voter Martha Washington, so I'll need a ballot, please. Absolutely. Here you go. And here's a secrecy envelope as well. Here's your ballot stub, Martha okay. Washington. Thank you. I'll need to get a second elections judge to go with us to help your wife vote. Okay. Pam, will you help us? Sure. Good morning, Mrs. Washington. Yes. Are you here to vote today? I am. May I see your ID, please? Thank you. When we offer curbside voting, we need to fill out a form that says um, that you say that you are unable to enter into the polling place. This is that form. Pam and I are elections judges and we will witness your signature on that form. Thank you. Here's your ballot, and it's in a secrecy sleeve. If you will follow the instructions, completely darken the ovals next to the selections that you're making on your, your ballot, and then hand it back to me with the secrecy envelope, and then Pam and I and your husband, Mr. Washington, will go in and we'll cast your ballot for you. At least two election judges must be involved in assisting a voter using curbside voting. And remember that voters with disabilities are entitled to the same privacies as other voters. Martha Washington is a registered voter and she's just completed curbside voting. All right. All right, and so I'm going to. Affidavit signed by two elections judges. Fantastic. So I'm going to need both of the, the judges who witnessed to sign next to her name um, in this box here. Both of you will need to fit in your signatures. In lieu of taking the register outside and pausing the process within the polling place, the curbside voter oath obtains the voter's signature without stopping the process for other voters. Both judges sign the register for documentation. The ballot is handled in normal fashion with the scanner or ballot judge. And always remember to offer the I Voted sticker. May I give you an I Voted sticker for, your, for voting? Thank you. Thank you. Each polling place is equipped with an automark. The automark is mainly for voters with vision or dexterity impairments. Election judges must be trained on the operation of the automark as well as on troubleshooting problems that may come up. Make sure the automark has a privacy shield 
and that it is positioned on a table that will accommodate a wheelchair and is positioned so that no one at the polling place can walk by the screen and view the voting. The Automark is equipped with headphones, braille keys, and has a port for a sip and puff device. Other comforts the Automark can offer are that the touchscreen can zoom in and out and change contrast, and the audio tempo can increase or decrease depending on the individual's needs. Once the voter has made their selections, the Automark will confirm their choices and mark the ballot on behalf of the voter. The Automark does not tabulate votes. It simply allows a voter to mark their ballot independently. The Automark ballot is cast normally on election day, whether it is deposited into a ballot box or voting machine. This machine provides the freedom for a voter to mark their ballot on their own in secrecy, which is invaluable. Thank you for voting. Would you like a I Voted sticker? Yes, please. Thank you.